Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. Today is Monday, August 8th, and I'm here just a little bit uh, past seven o'clock. Um, I just found this adorable little drawing of a rat on my gut desk. How cute is that? Um, so it is week four officially of school first quarter, which to me is crazy because we only have five weeks left until fall break, which I'm really excited about. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I think we might go camping. I need to look into it. I think I'm going to make that one of my goals this week is to, um, look into plans for fall break. So I'm going to put that on my little to-do list. I got this little desk like pad like years ago at TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something and I hardly ever use it but I pulled it out this year and I've been keeping it like up here by my computer and it's actually been pretty helpful because there's like a to-do list and then there's like a weekly place where you can write things so I've been taking like my school bulletin and I've been just filling out like only the ones that I need to be at like I know I have a team lead meeting on Wednesday um 7:20, so early which sucks because I have to drop my kid off at 7 30 so like what do I do with him for the extra 10 minutes luckily I have a really amazing teammate who has her own children and one of her bigger like older kiddos will take him down to school um that's just one of the many <laughs> perks of your kid going to your school also just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that I do have discount code for Zimf Optical. If you guys are interested in any of the glasses that I wear in any of my videos, they're always linked down in the description box below and you can get a discount code. It is linked down there if you're interested in ordering any glasses for yourself. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put on this uh, call um, my favorite campsite. Cause I think we want to go camping for fall break either the first or second week I'm not sure yet but um, I would like to go for like four nights maybe even five nights it would be so much fun to go camping either that or go up to my in-laws cabin I think that would be a really fun time go fishing and just enjoy um, stay in Arizona for fall break maybe even drive up to the Grand Canyon would be kind of fun um, so anyways, it is Monday and today is actually our first day using Mystery Science. The kids have never, well, the kids this year, most of them have used it because at the end of last year, our third grade de decided to departmentalize. And so the third grade science teacher um, started using Mystery Science. And so the last whole quarter of the school year, uh, the some of the kids I have this year got to experience um, mystery science. So a lot of them kind of already know how it goes. Um, but today will be our very first day using mystery science. And um, so it's gonna be kind of a learning curve, you know, expectations, routines, things like that. They're all kind of new and different, um, but hopefully it'll be, it'll, it should be fine. Um, I have to get the kids notebooks passed back out. I did grade a bunch of notebooks last week um, and actually entered my first two grades of the school year, which sounds kind of crazy, especially because it's the fourth, like last week was the third week. But to be honest with you, like I wasn't grading anything the first two weeks of school, especially the first three days and then the first five, real five days. No, I'm not grading anything. So anyway, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna uh, make sure that I have everything prepped and ready to go. I have some things printed out that I'm gonna have to pass out to the kids. Um, one of the school supplies that I have my students bringing this year is a small binder, and I'll show you why. So because I use Mystery Science, Generation Genius, and I, I'm pretty much designing my own curriculum at this point, um, I do have a lot of like handouts that I want the kids to be able to hold on to and keep. Um, and part of that is through Mystery Science. They have to hold on to a couple of pages because they go back to them periodically. And so um, what I decided to do was have every student bring a binder. Um, and it didn't have to be a big one. It, they could have been like a half inch binder. But then pages like these that come from Mystery Science that they're like referring back to periodically, 
I decided to just start copying them with holes in them. And then that way the kids can keep them inside of their binders and then they can flip back to them when they need. Um, and then when it's time to turn things in, they can take everything out, staple it together, and then they can turn it in as a bundle. Um, things like this that they're gonna be filling out and then like as a team doing stuff, like obviously I didn't punch the holes in, but for other things, I figured it would be smart to just keep it all in a binder. Um, folders can get really messy and they don't really know how to use the brackets very well. So I felt like the binder would be better. Plus the binder can act as like a moving desk. They can use it as a clipboard. Um, they have their little like decorative thing in the front. And I just like having binders. I think that they're a lot more sturdy um, and they're gonna keep things a lot safer inside. So, um, and then I also just have, I always have like a model version. So I have my binder, which I need to decorate, but like starting today, um, and I always keep in the binder what they should have in their binder so it's kind of like a model um, for how to stay organized I used to be at an avid school and avid is really big on binders and um, like color-coded folders and things like that to keep yourselves organized so I just like the binder idea luckily I, I'm pretty sure every student has a binder and if they don't have a binder I am able to go and snag them one from downstairs but as of right now all of my students have a binder so that's positive. So I need to put these student notebooks back in my student notebook storage. And then I'm just gonna have, I'm gonna get everything pulled up for the day. And then I am gonna head down to bus duty and then the day is gonna get started. Another amazing resource that I love using in science is boom cards and it is this really awesome interactive like vocabulary concept like flashcards website and I just really like it because it's interactive engaging and fun for the kids and it makes practicing information content and vocabulary so much more fun let me show you what it looks like So you set up your classes just like you would Google Classroom or any other, like you can import your students from Google. Um, and then when you click on these, so you can purchase these boom card decks just like you would on TPT. Basically you purchase points and then you can spend your points on boom card decks. But basically like this is one I bought years ago um, and it has them like thinking, getting them thinking about rocks. Um, and then, so they just click through. These are nice. Choose what to do. Sometimes the cards have like vo vocal recordings. So it's helpful for your um, English language learners or your really um, lower readers. And the kids can click on each one. They listen or read, and then they answer a series of questions. Um, and it's really cool. Like this isn't my favorite one. This is a good one to start with. But like right now, I have all of these boom card decks and I just love them. Like this one is on the earth spheres. So I'm probably going to assign it and you can assign it to all three classes. You can assign it to one at a time. It's just really fun and engaging. And I love using it as a warm up. So when the kids come into my classroom, instead of like getting started right away, I have this 10 minute warm up period where the kids will do something quietly on their own. Um, it gives kids the opportunity to use the restroom, fill up their water bottles. It gives me the opportunity to take attendance for that block and then like, you know, sort out any other issues before I start teaching. That way there's no interruption when I start teaching. Um, link on Google Classroom. So it is a nice period of 
you know, independent work time where I can get some stuff done, they can get some stuff done, and it eliminates the interruptions during my teaching time. So I think I might get them on boom cards today. Um, I think it might be a good idea, which means I need to make sure that that link is in Google Classroom because I still have quite a few kiddos that don't know how to get links, even though we've practiced it over and over and over again. I also really want to teach them how to get on student view. I think I might cover that during homeroom today um, so that they can um, look at their grades. Student view. And then that way um, I can say, okay, I just graded your quiz or okay, I just graded your boom cards. You need to go check your score and see if there's any improvements you can make. Um, I do love using boom cards as a grade. It's a quick, easy assessment of what they know and what they don't know. And it's great because they can redo the decks as many times as they want so they can improve, which is super helpful. So I'm gonna move this link up to the top. I'm also going to add boom cards right to my Google Stream so that there's no question on how to get there. Hey you guys, just wanted to do a quick check-in because I want to document all of the real and true teaching experience that we get to enjoy. So it is my prep time, but I have a student that's been assigned to ISS. And so I'm gonna spend my prep period walking assignments down to that student instead of prepping or grading or doing all the other things I need to do. All right, you guys, it is lunchtime and I've already had to confiscate a cell phone today. Um, usually the first offense with that, I just take it and keep it for the day and give it back before the kid leaves. Um, but if it continues to happen, then we do have to take them to the front office for parents to collect, um, which sucks, but that is what it is. Um, for lunch today, I'm having tuna with mayo and relish. It looks like a dinosaur. I am dipping some corn chips in it. Corn chips are my carb, I guess. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get hydrated. I finished my liquid IV, which wasn't part of my gallon for the day, so I am a little bit behind. But I have faith in myself. I think I'll be able to finish. I'm very tired already. Not like physically tired, but like mentally tired. It's fine. I'll be fine. All right, so I can't believe I'm actually doing this, but I'm ending a vlog on the same day that I started a vlog. <laughs> um, I feel like my vlogs are all starting to kind of like sound the same and look the same. Like here I am getting ready for the morning. Here I am getting this lab ready. <sighs> I just feel like everything I'm doing is so repetitive, but um, you know, that's kind of the way things are right now. So I'm, I'm trying to get creative in thinking about what I want to um, film for you guys. I would like to make my vlogs a little bit more exciting. I think that would be, I think that would be nice. Um, so I think I might start vlogging a little bit more than just at school. I don't know, we'll see. Um, anyways, today was a good day. We got a lot done. We didn't even get totally through the anchor lesson of mystery science, which is kind of like the beginning part. Um, we did not get through that, but it's okay because we're just starting with mystery science and it does take a while to kind of learn the routines and get used to everything and how it works. So it'll be fine. We'll continue with it tomorrow and then everything will just start to flow. So um, I'm gonna get out of here pretty quickly. Um, I just need to do a couple of little chores 
here and there, and then I'm going to be out of here. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, don't, forget to, don't forget to click that subscribe button and like this video. It really helps me out. And uh, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.